So I've got Harry Johns, the vocalist of Leeds punk rock outfit Brawlers on the Line. They've just released their debut album, The Romantic Errors of Our Youth, uh, which is out now, so definitely go check that out. It's an awesome listen. But yeah, so Harry, how's it going? What, what, what was the recording process like, considering it was your debut album? Uh, we had nine songs and then wrote one in the studio. The whole thing, the whole Brawlers, ex- the whole Brawlers thing has been very rushed from our inception to now. So it was good fun, but definitely just rushed, but in a good way. And I think you can kind of hear that on the record. I think it's definitely like punchier and more kind of urgent because that's actually how we were feeling. Yeah, I mean, yeah. in the end, isn't that the, the punk rock ethos anyway? Yeah, I mean, if we were given like three months in L.A. or something to make a record with a pool and a steam room, I think we would have ended up coming out sounding like The National or something. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, we would just sort of hold up in a like a basement studio in Leeds, pretty sweaty and smelly. But uh, yeah, I think it made the record much better. Listening back to the record, your lyrics um, seem to be kind of a social commentary and there seem to be very um, like a two-way conversation with uh, with the fans. So how do you go when you're approaching writing your lyrics? Um, it sounds a bit cheesy, but honestly, it's just I just want to tell the truth. So I, I, I'm really crap at using metaphor. Um, so, you know, the, there's a song called Annabelle, and there is a girl called Annabelle, and uh, there's all the references to people's names that are people. I haven't changed them, you know, and, like, we're, like, four young guys who are in this incredible... have this incredible opportunity to play music and sort of travel around together, and we're best mates. And, and like, what's the kind of stuff that we talk about? It's, you know, it's like, did you read that thing on Twitter or... You know, did you hook up with that girl from from Tinder? I don't know if you have Tinder in yeah. Australia. But <laughs> okay, so it's just like obviously, and, and that's not just what musicians talk about. That's just what people talk exactly. about, like girls and relationships. And remember that time when you stood that girl up, or you accidentally did something. You know, you like upset your mate or whatever. I, I don't know, but like that's the stuff I want to write songs about because it's, like, real and it's actually happening to us, rather than this sort of metaphorical, like, delivery of a song about some, like, situation that hasn't actually happened. I don't know, that, that seems dumb to me. No, uh, definitely. Uh, I'd rather to, just be like... Yeah, you definitely have to respect the, the raw honesty that goes into that. Well, yeah, thanks. I mean, we've got that so- song, uh, you know, Drink and Dial. I'm pretty certain there isn't a human being under 30 that hasn't, <laughs> that, hasn't that doesn't know what I'm talking about. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. and then you start making some calls that you realise in the morning you absolutely shouldn't have made. You know, why not write a song about it? Because everyone I know knows what I'm talking about. Exactly, and then it's like easily relatable fans. Uh, so how have you found the reception anyway? It seems you've been getting great reviews. Uh, pretty ast- uh, well, astounding. In England, it's, it's been insane. Um, I, I don't know if I'm honest. Like I'm quite aware of the fact that some of my favourite bands, like Led Zeppelin, uh, Nirvana, um, Black Sabbath, are all these bands that like released this first record, and it was just like boom from the go. And then that sort of gradually diminished, I, I think. And like first albums um, don't get swept under the carpet necessarily, but they are. They haven't got that weight, that gravity yeah. that I think first records once had. Because people are kind of more suspicious and there's so many more bands now that people are like, okay, they've got a record out, prove it, you know, go on tour or whatever. And we've always relished in that because we are a band that likes to tour and we're definitely a live band. And this having a record was just sort of to justify our place mm-hmm. in the music scene, so to speak. But having said all that, it's insane. Like, uh, sorry, all our favourite magazines that we've read, um, what's going up, they're giving us like full pages and half pages and touch wood. We haven't got a bad review yet. But, I mean, what's really astounding is that I'm setting an alarm at six in the morning to talk to Australian radio. That's quite cool, isn't it? I didn't, I didn't think I'd be doing that. As you mentioned, you're quite a live band, and you'll be on the road for the next two months uh, celebrating the release of this record. Uh, well, how else will you be celebrating the release of this record? Is, we gonna, like, is it going to be, like, full-on touring from here on in? Dude, it's going to be full-on touring. We just made we we made a, a music video as well, which is really cool, and I, I think it might kind of get, I think it might garner its own attention because it's sort of, it's not really like anything I've seen in a long time. It's like, uh, it's I'm really excited to have our, our, our first music video from the album out. I'll, I'll just put it that way, and I think it might 
get its own attention, from, you know, aside from people who already like brawlers, because it's it's a bit violent, it's a bit controversial, but it's fun. So it's kind of like in in keeping with what we're about. Um, and just touring, man. We're going to go to Europe for the first time, and that's going to be awesome. And we're going to play these festivals, which we never thought <clears throat> we'd be playing. And and you know, in some cases, we're playing, we're opening up like main stages of festivals. It's insane. We never thought we'd ever be able to do anything like that. And and because we're not 21, we're we're on kind of, you know, we're a few, we're a couple of years later than that. Like yeah. because we've been in bands before. Um, we we just genuinely are very happy to be here, and we're very aware of how lucky we are. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like we're twenty-one-year-old cool guys, although we do give that a good go. <laughs> um, you know, it, we we very much like the okay, this is cool. Like like in our mid to late twenties, like let's really hammer this and let's give it a good go. You know? Yeah, definitely. I would and we'd love to see you down here in Australia one time too. I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? It's the dream. Exactly. Uh, so everyone seems to like pigeonhole bands into different genres. Um, now you guys are a punk rock band, but you do draw, seem to draw a bunch of other influences as well. Uh, who, who do you draw influence from? Um, I mean, we get asked this a lot, and I've started to work out the best way of answering that question. Okay, so if you go to a bar right now, there will be a group of four mates doesn't matter if they're musicians or builders or bankers. Mm -hmm. And they'll all be, like, really good mates, and they all listen to different stuff, but they all are mates, regardless of that. And they all watch different movies, and they all like different art, and they read different books. But they're all friends, and they're just having a great time. I think what makes Brawlers interesting, and people, is, and people I think are getting in tune with this, is that, like, we really are best mates. Like, I've known those guys for 15 years. We grew up together in some cases, literally. So, like, we don't want to be in a band to replicate some music style that we all like. We we just want to be in a band because, like, we love each other. Do you know what I mean? So, like, we listen to totally different music. I listen to death metal. <laughs> you know, Matt yeah. listens only to the Beatles, almost literally, and listens to you know, East London grime music. Like, we're brought together by friendship rather than musicality. But, I mean, I just say, what do you think of this chorus? And if, it, if, and if I play it in the, re in the rehearsal room and it makes people, it makes the four of us be like, kind of want to pu punch our fists in the air, then that's what we want to do. We, we're not too bothered about being like a genre. We just want to make music which makes you pumped up for like going out and or, you know, makes you pumped up to like, go and do a thing that you wouldn't necessarily normally dare do or like go out or you know tell a girl that you like him or you know punch a guy that needs to, like, who deserves a punch you know like yeah. that's what we want to do man yeah so it's awesome to see um, how far a bunch of mates have been able to go so far and so where would you like to see um, brawlers in the future man we just we just want to get everywhere so I mean um, we're really good friends with a band called Pulled Apart by Horses, um, who were recently touring in Australia, and we're yeah, also we did we did we did a tour with uh, with the band DZ Death Rays. Yeah, oh, sweet. Who are from Australia, and they've both said in the last couple of months like how incredible it is to play in Australia. So I mean, for us, genuinely to come over to you guys' this country it would be. Um, a dream come true uh, and just to travel and just to meet different people and I don't know man it really is just that simple like we're very happy to be playing in England and we'll be happy to be playing in Europe and we didn't we didn't think we'd ever have the opportunity to, to play outside of, of our hometown so we're just really happy to do whatever anyone tells us to do at the moment Baller's album The Romantic Errors of Our Youth is out now so definitely go check it out and pick it up you can of course stream it online as well it's a really awesome listen thanks man sorry for getting you up so early no worries dude oh dude don't be silly it's a pleasure man thanks so much for talking to me